Hello, everybody. In this video, we are going to look at SymPy plotting. So in other words, we're going to be dealing with functions that are defined symbolically, and then we want to make a plot of those functions. Now, I'll give you the forewarning in this video that the SymPy plotting tools are not maybe as robust as uh, tools like matplotlib. So I encourage you to learn and use matplotlib for most of your plotting. But if you want like a really simple, quick plot, this guy will do it, especially if you're dealing with things that are symbolically defined. So let's go ahead and build one. So we're going to build this, this quadratic function on the domain and range that I've indicated here. And I'm going to start in kind of the typical way. I'm going to give SymPy a, a nickname. SP is just going to be the nickname for it. I'm going to define a variable, which is a symbol. And I'm going to define the function. And remember, of course, double asterisks for exponents. And you're using f as the name. You're not writing down f of x like you might on paper. OK, so running this, I don't do anything. I just define all of my variables. Um, and they're all defined as symbolic objects. So I can use sps or sympy.plot. So sympy's, sympy's plotting tool just takes in the function. And if I just run this, this is like the simplest, most basic way to run it. I'm going to get a big warning here. Now, this warning can safely be ignored. In fact, you may not even get this warning, depending on which version of Python you're using in the background. It just tells me that there's something that's going to be turned off in future versions of Python. So for right now, we can ignore this. But I do get the plot. It doesn't look super pretty. It kind of used minus 10 to 10 as my domain, 0 to 1. So it didn't really zoom in exactly where I wanted to. So let's make it a little bit better. I can tell that the x limits were from minus 5 to 0. And my y limits are from minus 2 to 2. Rerun it. I'm still going to get the exact same warning. But now I get a plot that maybe looks a little bit better. OK, so it's maybe zoomed in a little bit more on my function. Notice, of course, if you use matplotlib, there's some things about SymPy's plotting that are much easier. I don't have to define an x domain. I just have to define the symbol. I don't have to define all of the points for the y's. I just have to define the function. Um, and then the plotting is just quick. It just goes. OK, so that's actually quite nice. Now, it gets a little bit more interesting when you want to plot, say, two plots on top of each other. So say I want the function um, g of x is equal to sine of x. Okay, so I'm going to say g equals sp dot sine of x. All right now I'm using sympy's sign. And I could just naively say, hey, I'm just going to list these guys out here. f comma g comma and then x limit y limit. And run them. Okay, I get them. But notice that it didn't cycle through the colors like matplotlib or some other plotting tools do. It gives them both the same color. So this is a downside that we have to work around. So at this point, you basically have the tools to build really simple static plots with SymPy. But let's make this one better. OK, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this guy P, yeah, P for plot, whatever. And I'm going to put in here show equals false. Now, if I run that, it does nothing because I told it not to show the plot. Then I'm going to tell it P of 1 dot line underscore color is equal to red. Now, this sort of thing is just like what we would do in matplotlib. But this, hopefully it's obvious what it's doing. I've got a list of plots, 0, 1. And the number 1 here, its line color is going to be red. I could just as easily do p of 0 dot line underscore color equals g. And then I finally want it to show, so I'm going to do p.show. Again, I'm going to get the warnings. And now I've got the zeroth plot, which is the first one in my list here, is green. The first plot, which is the next one in my list here, is red. And I did it on this domain. So I've actually got a fairly nice looking plot here. It actually does work. And it's relatively simple when you've got things symbolically defined. Remember, though, um, you get a little bit more control with things like matplotlib and some other plotting tools. So I encourage you to use SymPy's plotting tool kind of sparingly, only when you are, one, 
stuck with symbolically defined functions, or two, just looking for something that is quick and dirty and takes almost no work. In those two instances, go with the SymPy plotting tools. Otherwise, uh, there are much better plotting tools out there. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.